Hello again to all you YouTube lovers out there in YouTube land. My name is John Anelli, and I've got another review for you guys today. Today I've got a really interesting product, I guess you could say. I'm going to be looking at Hobble Creek Blended Special Select. Now, you may know that in the county in Georgia that I live in, um, we can get beer and wine, but no liquor here. I have to drive one county over to buy liquor. So I'm noticing more and more at a lot of gas stations, there are these liquor alternatives. I mean, this looks like a bourbon whiskey. It's uh, or like a blended whiskey. Hobble Creek Blended. Uh, special select. Now, it's actually grape wine which with natural flavor and caramel color added. It is 21% alcohol by volume, and it says on the right side of the label, 42 proof. So it's got everything about this just screams whiskey, um, but it is not. And I tried to look up some information on this product, but there's nothing out there. The lady at the gas station where I bought this actually told me that she gets this from her Anheuser-Busch rep. Uh, it does say on the back that it's bottled by the Brookstone Distilling Company in Lewiston, Maine. And that's it. I cannot find anything about anything out about this product online. Uh, but I wanted to try it. It was $3.49 for this 375 milliliter bottle. So I'm going to open this and just give it a try and see what we've got here. Holy cow. It smells like whiskey. It doesn't smell like wine at all. It smells like whiskey. It looks like whiskey. Wow, this is so weird. <laughs> it smells like a cheap blended whiskey. I smell oak, vanilla, wow, if I take a really deep inhalation, maybe a little bit of grape, I mean, I don't know, it, it's so bizarre, alright, I'm just going to get right into this, take a sip and see what we're dealing with here, this is, this is a crazy product. It's not sweet at all. It's really dry. And it tastes like whiskey. If you poured this in a glass and gave it to me and didn't tell me what it was, I would say this is a cheap blended whiskey. I would never in a million years guess that this is grape wine with natural flavor added. Natural flavor and caramel color. So there's nothing about artificial flavors on here. I'm blown away, guys. I cannot believe this. It finishes like a whiskey, too. It's, it's really dry. The only difference is you don't get that big alcohol burn going down the throat that you would with a higher proof product, like an actual whiskey because there's not as much alcohol in it. But whatever flavorings they're using taste exactly like whiskey flavors. I'm blown away. Uh, it's weird giving something like this a rating, but I mean, it looks just like whiskey packaging. Um, the color is identical. It's color to match whiskey and flavored to match 
whiskey. I just don't know what to say. I wish I could find some more information out uh, online, but there is zilch. There's nothing out there. Uh, you type in Brookstone, you come, it comes up with like a clothing store. And then if you scroll down the page, there's some stuff about Sazerac and Buffalo Trace, but clearly this is not made by a distillery, uh, an actual distillery. The lady at the gas station said Anheuser-Busch gives her, provides this to her. And the name, Brookstone Distilling Company, I mean, that just sounds like a fake name. So, I mean, I don't know. Never heard of it before. Um, I guess if you live in, in a dry county and you can find this, uh, you know, if you don't have a package or liquor store close by where you can buy whiskey and you really like whiskey, this is an alternative that you might want to consider. The alcohol is a lot lower as well, so you could drink more of this, get some good whiskey flavors in there, but, I mean, it is a mimic, though. I just, I don't know. For rating, for what this is, a whiskey mimic, it's at least good. I'm just going to give it a B, a solid B, right in the middle, 85 um, it's very weird, bizarre. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's got my taste buds fooled though. I definitely would think that this was a blended whiskey if you just gave it to me and didn't tell me anything. That's exactly what I would think this is. The only thing that might, um, you know, make you think that it's not at, well, it just doesn't have that alcohol burn on the back end. But everything else is just done perfectly as far as bringing out whiskey flavor in this product. So it's a B product. It's very interesting. I'd love to know more about it. If anybody out there has had this and they know about this product, let me know who the heck makes this. But I think it's it's Anheuser-Busch. Um but it's a liquor alternative, and I think it's sold primarily in areas like mine where you cannot buy liquor. Um, so until next time, guys, cheers.